When the day of Pentecost fully come, they were all filled with one accord, one place. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven, like a mighty rushing, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues of fire, one sat upon each of them. Now this, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gave them, it's the Spirit that gives utterance. And they were dwelling in Jerusalem, this devout man from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speak in their own language. And they were all amazed and marveled and saying, Look, not all these who speak in Galilean. And how is it? And we hear the each in our own language and in which Parisians and Medes and Elam and dwelling in Mesopotamia, Pontus and Asia and all the other cities, certain and Arabs, we hear them speaking in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. So they were all amazed and saying to one another, what ever could this mean? In his feet. Others mocking said they are full of new wine, but Peter standing up with the leaven raised his voice and said, No. Said to them, Men of Judea, and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let these be known unto you. Heed my words, for these are not drunk, as you suppose, and since it is only third hour of day, but this is what was spoken by the prophet Joe, and it shall come to pass in the last day, saying that I will pour out my spirit out on all flesh. Your sons and daughters will, shall prophesy, your young men shall see vision, and your old men shall dream dreams. And all my men manservant and on my maid servant i'll pour out my spirit in those and they shall prophesy and i will show wonders in heaven and above and in your midst as yourself also known him being delivered by the German prophesies. Whom God raised up having loose the pains of death because it is, was not possible. And I foresaw the Lord always before. We're going to skip ahead. Then Peter said to him, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Now then, I believe that we should be baptized in Jesus' name and be filled with the Holy Ghost. This is the oneness church. Right here on YouTube. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more.